everybody! Welcome back to Epic Beauty Fail. I'm Jessica and on today's video we're doing day three of October's Five Days of Foundation. And today it is going to be the It Bye Bye Lines Foundation. Now, I will say right off the bat, I think they have like seven shades in this. That's it. And I mean, everybody gave tart crap for the Shape Tape Foundation that came out yesterday or that I worked did yesterday came out a couple of months ago everybody was given tart all sorts of crap for that well literally this comes in seven shades so here's the bottle i think it's one ounce yes it's one ounce uh, i do have the shade fair i'm going to go ahead and bring up their website on my phone here and i will show you the shade range there it is and I will say that I've had issues with IT uh, products before, face products before, because they don't go light enough. I know that anyone with darker skin tone than medium or light medium, they don't have a shade range in IT foundations either. So that is one thing that I think IT Cosmetics really does need to work on. Now this does look pretty pale. We'll see if it looks the same shade when it comes out as it does in the bottle. But I'm going to go ahead and read you some information from the website. This says it was developed with plastic surgeons, as I think their entire line says that they are. Bye Bye Lions Foundation starts its life as your hydrating anti-aging serum and is infused with pure color pigments to seamlessly conceal the look of lines, wrinkles, and imperfections and give you instant complexion perfection. Perfect for all skin types, this advanced foundation is infused with anti-aging peptides, caviar extract, hydrolyzed collagen, hyaluronic acid, argan oil, and babasu oil. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Plus vitamins A, C, E, B1, B2, B3, B5, B7, B9, and CoQ10. <laughs> and features proprietary drops of light optical blurring technology for an airbrushed, lit from within glow. Finally, you can experience luminous, sheer to medium coverage that makes your skin look younger, not older. There you go. Now, this sounds like it's a miracle foundation. We'll see if it actually does work. Uh, it says apply one to two pumps and smooth onto skin, blending outward from the center of your face with your fingertips or favorite IT Cosmetics brush for flawless, luminous complexion perfection. Now, I will say this. I have at least a handful of it brushes and I do really, really enjoy them a lot. They're very soft, very comfortable. Um, I, I do enjoy their brushes. In fact, I almost bought more of their brushes during the Ulta 50, 21 days of beauty sale, but I was like, no, I have enough brushes. <laughs> um, and in fact, I'm not actually using an it brush today. I should, I have a couple of foundation brushes behind me, but I'm not going to, I'm going to continue to use the same combination brushes that I used the last couple of days my flower beauty sponge and my sigma f80 flat kabuki brush on the sides of my face so on my face i already sprayed it down with the smashbox so chill coconut primer water and i also put some of the cover fx blurring primer just in my my t-zone area my nose around my my uh nose here on my mouth and on my chin because i know those are my trouble areas so um we're going to go ahead and start applying this. Like I said, I'm going to use my sponge on this side of my face and my brush on this side of my face. And I'm going to see what the shade looks like. Well, it's looking promising, but their foundations have a tendency to oxidize on me as well. So we'll see. I put two pumps on my hand and it's saying that two pumps will do my entire face. We will see about that. All right, I'm going to start with the brush on this side. All right, it is definitely sheer coverage. Not very good at all. And I'm afraid to use the sponge to see what the sponge looks like because the sponge is usually lighter coverage. Now I do have probably about a pump, well, maybe a half a pump left on my hand. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably going to go back to the brush because that's pretty much just nothing. That's pretty much nothing. All right. I'm going to go ahead back and use the brush and then I'm probably going to go ahead over everything with the sponge. I think the pump broke. Oh, there it goes. 
I was gonna say already I literally used two pumps okay I'm gonna go over the rest of my face with my brush and then I'm gonna go over everything probably with a sponge just to even out all of the finish of this All right, so there is one layer again like I said it is definitely a sheer coverage it is not even a medium coverage on me but the colors not looking too bad uh, it is a little bit on the yellow side and I still have some foundation on my hand so I'm gonna try to build this up like in the center here where I have more redness and see if I can get it built up a little bit all right this is doing some weird things around my nose like it's just not sticking to my nose at all. I'll zoom you in after I get the rest of my makeup on to show you. I'm also having troubles where it's not seemingly setting down. Um, it is transferring like all get out. Like it doesn't even feel like it's set at all. All right, I'm gonna definitely be setting this with powder today because I don't wanna be getting makeup everywhere. See, I literally just brushed my finger over my face and it like took all the makeup away. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this because it's looking really weird around my nose. I'm gonna go ahead and set this before I accidentally wipe it all off and get on the rest of my makeup. The time is now 8.51. So the check-in time is probably gonna be right around nine o'clock. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, I am back and the time is 9.14. So it took me about 25 minutes to do my makeup, but I had my face makeup done at right around nine o'clock. So we're gonna call nine o'clock our check-in time. I will check in at one o'clock and then again at five o'clock tonight. So I'm good to go on that. On my face, I have the It Your Most Beautiful You palette. This is a face palette. So I have all three of these shades on my cheeks today. I do have <clears throat> the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Put that all over my face because this was not settling down like i said um on my lips i have the mark jacobs lipstick in slow burn which is that shade right there and then i have uh the butter london double decker lashes on my lashes and then on my eyes i have the maybelline new york lemonade craze palette i have sherbet all over my eyes my lid sweet tea in the crease old fashioned on the outside corner to darken it up a little bit i have um lemonade i'm sorry coral punch all over my lid sugar coated all over my lid um strawberry lemonade all, all over my lid i kind of layered them to get the desired look that i was going for and then uh main squeeze in my inner corner and on my lower uh, lower lash line, I have Ice Pop and Lemonade Craze. So I used almost every shade. Sunnies and Citrus are the only two shades in this palette I didn't use today. Doesn't look like it's that complex of a look, does it? It's really not. I just used a lot of the shades. And then I sprayed my face down with the um, uh, Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So I'm all set. I'm going to go ahead and zoom you in and show you a couple things that I'm a little bit nervous about with this foundation already. First off, my cheeks, my forehead are looking okay. Along my hairline here though, it's looking like a little bit powdery, a little bit broken up. I'm not quite sure if the camera will pick that up or not, but like right in here, it's just looking a little powdery and that could be that I put too much powder in that spot. So I'm gonna let that go. Uh, I told you around my nose, it's acting kind of funny. Now I do have some dry skin around my nose and it seems to be catching on that dry skin patch that's especially on this side um i think my cheeks look good right now and my chin's not looking too bad but i will say like around my nose and on my chin is looking powdery as well so i'm not quite sure why i don't know if it's the foundation or if it's powder um, the powder shouldn't do that though. This is a good, I mean, Laura Mercier powder is a good powder. Um, it's just looking a little bit powdery right around there. So I don't know. I'm going to keep an eye on that throughout the day right now. I think it's looking okay right now. I'm not, I'm not too upset with it right now. Um, but 
I'm going to keep an eye on throughout the day. But for right now, I think it's okay. So I will check in in about three and a half, four hours, and then again at five o'clock. So I will see you guys in a little while. It is time for my midday check-in, and the time is now 1.09. So a little bit, a little bit late, a couple minutes late, but not too bad. Anyway, it is not raining today, but it is super humid and it is still wet outside. The ground is still wet, um, but it's not raining currently. So there's actually a little bit more sun than there has been the last couple of days, which is good. So I'm gonna show you my skin and then talk to you a little bit about the couple of things that is that are concerning me. Just a couple. Around my nose still looks kind of weird. But overall, I'm thinking that for the most part, this is actually looking pretty good. A couple of problem areas. Right down in here where I have my blemish, but there's also some dry patches. Like there's a couple of spots of dry skin there. It is definitely like just sitting on the dry skin. You can really, really see it. So not liking that very much. Around the side of my nose here, it looks really weird. Um, but again, that's like a dry patch on my skin. My forehead, I think, looks pretty good. I think my nose looks pretty good. I think my cheeks look pretty good, actually. My chin and my mouth actually still look pretty good. Um, I was saying earlier that they looked kind of dry, like on my upper lip here, it looked kind of dry, but it actually doesn't look too bad right now. Yeah, not looking too bad right now, I don't think, except for those couple of spots where I have dry skin. Now, I will say this, I did powder this, and I also used setting spray on this today, and I will tell you that midway through the day, I've been inside for, for the entire day, this is the first time I'm outside all day, but it's really starting to feel like oily in certain places, and it doesn't appear to be transferring, but I'm a little concerned that this is gonna just keep getting more and more and more oily throughout the day. We will see, I might be wrong, but right now midday through the day, it's starting to feel a little bit heavy and it's definitely starting to feel like I have foundation on. So I will check in in about four more hours. I will see you then. All right, everybody, it is the end of the day. It is 5.07 and I've had this on for eight hours. And I'm ready to get it off, honestly. Um, not necessarily because it's bad, but just because it feels heavy, if that makes sense. Um, looking at it, I think it looks actually really good for having it on for eight hours. I think it looks really good. I think the only thing that still looks kind of weird is the side of my nose. That one, not so bad, but this side of my nose where I'm having some dry patch of skin, it, it looks kind of bad. The little dry patches here on my chin that I had earlier, that doesn't seem to be looking as much of a problem as it had earlier. Um, but other than that, I think it actually looks pretty good. I think it looks actually better than it did this morning. My nose is a little bit shiny, not too bad. Around my mouth here, around my chin, it is starting to break up a little bit, not horribly, not as bad as some other foundations I've tried for sure. Um, yeah, I, I don't think this looks bad. I, I really don't think it looks bad at all. Um, I mean, I guess that's about all I have to say about it. The biggest problem that I'm having is that it feels really heavy on my skin. And for a, a foundation that is, is more of a light to medium coverage, um, pretty much a light coverage, medium at best, I don't like that it feels so heavy on my skin at this point. Um, some of that might just be because my oils have mixed with the product and feels heavy on my skin. But I mean, I don't know. Let's see what it does. It does kind of smear. I mean, you guys can see that on my nose, right? But I mean, I have oily skin in certain parts. You know, my T-zone gets oily. Not so much on my, my forehead, more so just on my nose and on my chin. Um, a little bit on my cheeks, but not so much. Um, so yeah, I mean, it just, it feels heavy and I don't really like that feeling. There's enough foundations out there that actually feel really like not heavy, if that makes sense. And I'm not a, a person who really likes to have like super full coverage foundation either. So overall, I think it looks okay. It's just that after eight hours of wear, it's just feeling a little heavy. So 
That is my first impression of the It Bye Bye Lions Foundation. Not bad, but not the best. <laughs> uh, I know that's not very definitive, but I will continue to try it throughout the month and I will let you know which uh where it ranks in my my list of five for this for this month so anyhow i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up down below if you haven't already and you would like to be please hit that red subscribe button and don't forget to hit that little bell to notify you when i do upload new videos and if you have any comments leave those in the comment section down below as well i really appreciate any feedback you have on any of my videos, any of my content. So if you've tried this, this foundation and you like it, let me know that. If you've tried it and you've had problems with it, let me know that as well. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next step at Beauty Fail. Bye.